Hi Tableau users, my name is Liz and I'm a consultant at Innerworks. Today, we're going to take a look at how to create a parameter in Tableau. Uh, a parameter is a way to let our user choose what they see in the view. There's tons of different use cases for parameters, so if you haven't used them much, I'd encourage you to go over to the Innerworks blog, www.innerworks.com backslash blog. You can read about all the different use cases for parameters. Today, we're just going to look at one of them. In our view, we'll allow our user to choose whether they see profit in our view or sales. So let's jump in and learn how to create a parameter. To create a parameter, there's four steps. First, we create the parameter control. Second, we show the parameter control. Third, we use the parameter in a calculated field. And finally, we use the calculated field in the view. So step one, we'll create our parameter. In this case, we'll call the parameter choose sum of profit or sum of sales. And I'll list out the two options for my user. They'll either be able to choose sum of profit or sum of sales. Now we have a new field in our data pane, the parameters field. If I right click on my parameter, I can choose to show the parameter control. That's step two. And I'll change my parameter to be a single value list. Next, I have to use my parameter in a calculated field. So I'll go to create calculated field and I'll call this calculated field p dot choose some profit or sales. And this P, this is a metadata note so that my user or uh, my coworkers, other developers, will know that inside of this calculated field, there's a parameter. So the calculated field is going to reference the parameter. And I'll use a case statement. I'll say, in the case of choose some of profit or some of sales, when the user chooses one, then show the sum of profit. When the user chooses two, then show the sum of sales. End. I'll say OK. And then I'll use this calculated field in the view. Now, when my user switches back and forth between profit and sales, they get to choose what they see in the view. Our axis is now titled the same as our calculated field, which is not a visualization best practice. So I'll right click on the axis and I'll edit it and I'll just delete the title of the axis. And then I'll include in my title the value of the parameter. The parameter. So now as my user switches, the title switches as well. So now you, you know how to create a simple parameter. There's tons of other ways to use parameters. So head over to the Innerworks blog, www.innerworks.com backslash blog, and learn more about all the different ways that you can use parameters.